Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about a pair of Jordans, uh, more specifically, the bread ones. Yo, so I'm not going to keep you guys here super long today for this particular review. Uh, just seeing as I feel like at this point, a lot of the people that wanted this pair of shoes has either been able to acquire them and add them to their collection, or have already just taken the L that came on release day and they've accepted it. Uh, but this review is mainly for the people who still want to try to get a pair in their hands uh, and, and might want a little bit more information on them. Uh, and, and just the history of the shoe as well. So this is a re-release of the Breads. Uh, it's the 2016 re-release. This pair of shoes dropped on September 3rd, 2016 and retailed for a price of $160, which is a fantastic price for a pair of Jordans. At that price, especially for the Breads, please take my money. Um, I unfortunately that day took it out. I did, just like a lot of people out there. Uh, they were extremely hard to get to unless you knew somebody, unless you had the hookup or you knew exactly where they were gonna drop, you were gonna take an L. Uh, so that's exactly what I did on release day. This was the first pair of Jordans that actually got me into collecting Jordans. I've always liked shoes. I I'm, wouldn't say I'm anywhere near new to the sneaker community uh, or, 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 or sneaker culture, shoe culture, uh, but I never collected Jordans. I never really had an interest in them until this pair of Jordans. It was the Jordan 1s. Uh, something about the silhouette of them I really appreciated, really enjoyed, and it was the black and red colorway that really needed to catch my attention for me to fall in love with all the other pairs that would release in the future. Uh, anyway, again, I took an L on release date, so I had to pay resale price from Flight Club, which was a pretty penny, uh, especially when we're talking Jordans. Um, so again, this isn't gonna be the last time, uh, and it's not the first, but I will, I will continue to mention Flight Club. Flight Club is one of the only places I go to get resell sneakers, sneakers who have sold out, and I know that I need to get an authentic pair because, I, again, I've seen too many, too many situations where, oh, the homie has a hookup on them for a good price, and then someone buys them, and it's they're unauthentic, it's, which is a, a nice word for they're fake. Uh, anyway, I go to Flight Club when, whenever I know that I need to get a, a, a real pair of shoes, and I'd rather pay the price, the extra price on them, and know that they're real and be able to feel good in my heart about it, than think maybe, well, these might be fake, I don't know, here, let me legit check them, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I went to Flight Club. Uh, they were $400 from Flight Club, which them retailing for $160 with tax, Jordans that are $160 go for $175 usually, depending on where you live. Uh, that's, uh, that's okay with me. They're making an extra $225 off of me because I decided to sleep in that morning. Whatever, it's fine, take it. it it's, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, I got the shoes, that's all that matters. So I wanna talk really briefly about the quality. Uh, on this particular pair of Jordans. Uh, the quality check that they were doing at the factory when these were produced must have been fantastic. There must have been uh, a, a, a different level of quality check going on because I've seen some extremely ganky Jordans come out before, Jordan 1 specifically, uh, just with the, a wavy toe box going on, uh, paint manufacturing defects, all that kind of stuff, over glue. It's, it's just, you never know what you're gonna get. So I always make sure to look at my pair before I decide to buy them, uh, unless it's like a quick strike or something like that. Anyway, this pair of Jordans is fantastic. This is probably why I started collecting all the other ones, because I got these and I was, I didn't, I didn't understand what I was missing out on with these. Uh, this was, the, these were made with the tumbled leather going on on the toe box. If you look at that, it's real buttery. Your fingers, not that you would ever be doing this in real life, but your fingers can just kind of push right into it. You can see how it conforms to the shape. Uh, it's, it's a real buttery leather. Uh, everything else about it just looks really nice. You have that tumbled leather going on uh, uh, with that check as well. Uh, and again on the back where it's stretched just a little bit tighter. Uh, and, and up here is, in my honest opinion, a lot softer than a lot of other pairs of Jordans as well. Uh, it was something about this pair of shoes that they just wanted to really put quality into. They, they 
it, it's second to none. The only other pair of Jordans that are like these that I have or that I've seen are the shattered backboard uh, reverse the, the 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 reverse shattered backboards uh, that came out this year, 2016 as well. Uh, they're the exact same tumbled leather, and I'm gonna be doing a review on those in the future as well. So find that because I'm sure it's already up. And for me throwing it out there that this is the first pair of Jordans that really got me into collecting Jordans. Um, for all of those who might be new to the sneaker culture or just specifically Jordans, um, I did want to drop in a, a little side note that unlike a lot of shoes uh, that I've talked about in the past, these shoes fit 100% true to size. That's not an opinion of mine, it's a fact, it's just what everybody else says as well. Uh, I'm a size 10, these are a size 10. They're, they fit perfect, they're super comfy, especially these pair, again, just because of the quality that you have of the leather, uh, all that kind of stuff going on. Uh, so please go true to size if you're new and you're trying to get a pair of Jordans, true to size. Because if you go any larger, then uh, th then they'll start to crease really bad and and that's just not a, a fun thing. You know, e even if you wear the, the shields on the inside of the protectors, they'll still start to crease. With these, if you go to your true to size, uh, even when they start to crease, they start to crease in the right spots and they look nice and they, they look worn in the best way possible. Uh, not like you got a pair of shoes, it's too big for you or anything. So again, as I was saying, I'm not gonna keep you guys super long on this review, uh, but before we head out, I do want to not style them, but just show you what they look like on foot because I feel like they look even better on foot than they look just sitting behind me. Uh, so we're gonna do that right now. Every single one of my videos I tell you guys, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be real brief, it shouldn't be too long. Uh, and then we sit down and talk, just bullshit, just shoot the shit for like 15, 20 minutes. It's every single time. I never mean to do it, time just gets away from me. And, uh, and today I told you I said it's gonna be real brief. I think we did it. It should be under 15 minutes. If it's not, maybe like a few seconds over. Um, but anyway, this is definitely one for the checkbooks on my part. Uh, so listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. Uh, hit subscribe. I have a lot more videos, a lot more Jordans coming out uh, just because the amount of shoes I've been able to buy have kind of surpassed the amount of videos I can make daily uh, just based on my schedule. So you have those to look forward to in the future. But again, feel free to give me a like, subscribe, drop a comment down in the comment box section below. Uh, I always try to get back to you guys in a nice timely manner just so we could talk and shoot the shit a little bit more even after the video. Uh, but guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes, coming by today to kick it. Uh, and until next time, peace.